Hello and welcome to Eliathon's 100 gig transponder and MUX bonder demonstration video. My name is Alan McDade and I'm responsible for sales and marketing here at Eliathon. Today's video is in addition to our online 100 gig demo and specifically concentrates on the OTL 4.4 interface between the Xilinx Vertex 7 HT device on the board and JDSU's CFP2 breakout module. To view the full demo and see all of the line and client side features, go to eliathon.com and click on the YouTube button at the bottom of any of the pages. The diagram on your screen now shows the hardware setup for today's demonstration. The FPGA platform used for the demo is a Xilinx Vertex 7 characterization kit the VC7222. This card has a 580HT device on board, giving us access to a number of 10 gig and 28 gig capable transceivers. Inside the FPGA, we have implemented our 100 gig transponder reference design, which transports a 100 gig E client signal in an OTU4 payload. As today's demo is focused on the OTL 4.4 line side interface, we do not need to connect any client side test equipment. Instead, we have implemented a carry layer loopback within the FPGA. On the line side, we have the JDSU ONT603 tester, which is configured in OTU4 mode. The box has an electrical CFP2 breakout module installed, allowing us to test the OTL 4.4 interface on the FPGA. This module is connected to the Vertex 7 card via a set of Samtech bullseye cables. Finally, we have a user interface that allows us to monitor the errors, stats and defects at all layers of the design. The diagram on your screen now shows the architecture of our 100 gig OTN transponder. As explained previously, we will be concentrating on the OTL 4.4 interface and therefore we'll be talking about the 100 gig E client side mapping and associated functionality. We do however perform carry layer loopback within the FPGA which passes data all the way from the OTU4 layer to the 100 gigabit E interface and back again. The OTL 4.4 block like our OTL 4.10 variant is fully standards compliant. This means that the only real difference between them is the way in which the data is multiplexed between the physical and virtual lanes. In OTL 4.10, this is a 2 to 1 multiplex structure, whereas in OTL 4.4, it's a 5 to 1 structure. As a result, the OTL 4.4 block has all the same features as the OTL 4.10 variants, including support for up to 1024 bits of SKU and incorporating four 27.95 gig SERDES, each with individual lane framing, SKU adjustments and reordering. Okay, so let's move on now with the demonstration. Uh, we'll first start by uh, examining the design in the JDSU to Eliathon direction. Uh, and we'll start by looking at the, the file layer. So we have the file layer opened in the JDSU tester and we're looking at the OTL layer uh, and, and all 20 virtual lanes in the Eliathon GUI. So we, in the JDSU, we can introduce LOS alarms on any of the four uh, 28 gig lanes and then watch those ripple through in the GUI. So there's one lane and we'll switch to another and see the second lane. 
Uh, if we move now, move down now to the OTL layer and uh, TX errors and alarms, uh, we can inject loss of frame at that level. So we'll leave it a continuous for all lanes. And again, when I click this button, we should see uh, all 20 lanes go down on the Aliathon GUI. Uh, we can look at individual lanes. So I've chosen lane three there, and on the Eliathon GUI, you can see lane three has indicated the alarm. Uh, changing that to lane 12, and again, we can see lane 12 indicate the alarm. Uh, moving on to the OTN layer, uh, we can insert some uh, alarms and errors. So we'll start with uh, SMIAE. DDI, and then on the error side, we can uh, inject some BIP, and then finally some uncorrectable fake errors. Uh, finally, if we drop right down to the MAC IP layer, and we look at the carry tab in the Eliathon GUI, uh, we can inject some FCS errors and then we can watch the Ethernet monitors in both directions in the GUI uh, report CRC errors. Okay. So that concludes all of the uh, JDSU to uh, Eliathon tests. Uh, if we now flip that and look at the Eliathon to JDSU direction, now, the uh, Eliathon GUI is, is purely for monitoring, so it gives us the errors, the stats and defects for the design. Uh, it's not a tester, however, um, so it has limited uh, alarm injection capability. So what we'll do instead is we will turn on some PRBS on one of the four 28 gig lanes, and then we can watch the JDSU uh, report that five of the 20 virtual lanes have OTL layer errors. So if we bring up the OTL layer in the uh, GDSU, and then on the Lyoth and GUI, we switch to terminal mode. And then we can uh, switch on PRBS on one of the four lanes. So we do that by writing And we can see there that uh, five of the 20 lanes are showing an error. Uh, we can change that to another five lanes. And we can see the second set of five lanes showing the error. That concludes our demonstration. That's the end of today's demonstration video and we hope you found it useful. To view Eliathon's other products and services, go to www.eliathon.com and to contact us and discuss your requirements, go to eliathon.com and click the contact us tab at the top of the page. Thanks for watching.